Um, hello, Anita. Can you hear us? Yes. Hello to everybody. I'm honored to, to be a speaker in this event. So I can start if that's okay. Yes. Kick us off. We are dying to hear. So let's see what you have done in Slovenia. And the floor is yours. Slovenia uh, has prepared the improved voucher scheme. Uh, this is uh, actually also the result of Interreg Europe project Trino. Um, during the local stakeholder group meetings, there, were, there was pointed out that SMEs need more financial incentives, especially in digital transformations, to have short and easy procedures. And uh, also the previous voucher scheme was mentioned that didn't bring satisfactory results. Um, the law, the um, time to receive funds was too long and also the SMEs needed to hire external experts to prepare the um, application. During the first meeting with the ministry that we had in April 2018, we presented Trino project and all good practices selected. And uh, when we asked them what are their challenges, they said that they are preparing new voucher scheme because they wanted to improve the previous voucher scheme to be more effective. And um, within the next project meeting, uh, three good practices were identified in Ireland, pilot research voucher scheme, national innovation voucher scheme, and training online voucher scheme. We invited them, the ministry, to staff exchange, and they attended it in September 2018. Um, on the staff exchange, all three good practices were presented and the uh, trading online voucher was actually the one that was the most interesting one to be transferred in some parts to Slovenia. The ministry also had the opportunity there to speak with the SMEs that received the vouchers and gained very useful information. Also, um, after the staff exchange, they were in contact via phone, email, uh, with the local enterprise office and um, when they were preparing the new voucher scheme in Slovenia. So uh, the new, the good practice was transferred uh, in some parts and uh, some calls were published already in January 2019. Vouchers are small incentives of, um, for well, SMEs can receive from 300 euros to almost up to 10,000 euros of irreversible funds. This is for individual services. Uh, it is fast handling. They're available throughout the year. There is no deadline. The SMEs receive free support when they are uh, applying for the voucher. This is from um, spot points, Slovenian business points. We have 12 of them, uh, one in each statistical region. The co-financing is a uh, maximum 60% of eligible costs and the company can receive free vouchers at the same time for implementation or 30,000 euros payments annually. Justified costs are from January 2019, but uh, this depends on individual call. So um, each call is slightly different. There is also e-voucher available. This is um, something that was transferred also from um, the Irish good practice. And um, they could submit the application online also to send the final request for payment with final report. There are seven thematic areas of vouchers, protection of intellectual property, quality certificates, internationalization, ownership transfer, circular green economy, prototyping and digitalization. Digitalization is actually very interesting, especially in the COVID-19 crisis, and it is the most popular among SMEs. Uh, here, the voucher is the, uh, the digitalization voucher is divided under four vouchers: digital competence enhancement, digital marketing, digital strategy, and cybersecurity. There is 22.5 million euros available. Uh, for this five-year period, which is 4.5 million euros yearly. So the policy instrument that was improved is operational program for the implementation of European cohesion policy. 
Improvement is a result of cooperation between Trino partner and the managing authority. And what was actually transferred in some parts to Slovenia, the, the first thing is that um, also the website um, can be established. It's eligible cost. Then uh, e-voucher was established so they can um, submit the applications online. And then the procedure, how to select external experts, uh, they get free offer, offers and they can, they can explain why they selected this external expert. It doesn't need to be uh, the price, the only issue here. And uh, there are also trained consultants on regional level uh, in spot points to help SMEs with the application. This was the same in vouchers, uh, voucher scheme in Ireland. Let's see some of the results till March 2020. 14 different voucher calls were published, almost 3,000 vouchers approved, which is uh, 10.8 million euros and uh, 988 vouchers already funded. Results in Slovenia are beyond expectations. The ministry really received uh, positive feedbacks. And uh, also our defined indicator in the action plan of Trino project, we said that um, 800 vouchers will be funded and we in two year period, and this is something we already achieved. Um, well, I would like to conclude that in Slovenia, SMEs now receive vouchers quickly and easily. There is no deadline. The evaluation process is quick, also the time to receive funds. Uh, SMEs get increased knowledge, competences, added value, uh, sales, development, growth, um, and um, uh, voucher schemes are especially interesting in the COVID-19 crisis, since this is fast, dynamic, and simple way of allocating funds. Uh, as a result of the COVID-19, the voucher scheme in Slovenia was slightly adopted. So the deadline for the final report was prolonged for three months. Uh, we did voucher for digital competences. The training could also be online. Um, so no physical contact was necessary. And uh, they could submit the application with digital certificate. And since there was no counseling on spot points, the help was then provided via email or some uh, online uh, meetings. So uh, this is it from my side. Thank you for your attention and uh, waiting for your questions.